Hello, and thank you so much for coming by the channel today. I really appreciate it. My name is Susan. This channel is Road Reads, and I haven't finished a book since the last time we spoke. So I thought I would do a tag today, and I was scrolling through BookTube, as one does when one's looking for a tag, and I saw Katie at Books and Things doing the uh, Evolution as a Reader tag originated by Jack from Spread Book Joy. And I thought I would do my own version and share it with you guys. The first prompt is what you read. How has your taste in books evolved? So when I was a kid, I read all the typical kid books, uh, Amelia Bedelia, Nancy Drew, uh, uh, Tales of the Fourth Grade Nothing, all the, all the typical kid books. I loved to read when I was young. Then I hit high school and uh, I got distracted by other things and I was not a big reader in high school, unfortunately. So then I go to college and uh, my sophomore year, I decided to major in English, so obviously I had to read uh, a lot of um, canonical works. So that was great. I would love to do it all over again if I could. So reading a lot of classics uh, from ancient to modern classics through my uh, you know, four years of university. Then when I graduated, so when I was in my 20s, I read mostly classics and I was very happy with that. I was a very sensitive reader. So <laughs> to read uh, like books that, because that's when Oprah started recommending books and those books always terrified me because they were often very tragic. I wouldn't have touched those books with a 10 foot pole because again, very sensitive reader stuck with the classics. Then in my 30s, and I've talked about this before on the channel, so I'll just like kind of breeze through this quickly. In my 30s, I read almost all nonfiction. I totally did a 180 in my reading. I always enjoyed history, but I never studied history. And uh, yeah, it changed when I was uh, 31, I think, or 32, and we moved to Seattle, Washington, and I needed an audiobook to listen to while we drove across the country. My then husband was in his truck ahead of me and I was driving our Jeep, and I said, I'm gonna pull over at the next Barnes and Noble I see. This is before Audible, or at least before I knew about Audible. Uh, this one you got them on DVD. I said, I'm gonna pull over at the first Barnes and Noble I see and get an audiobook. And I got John Adams by David McCullough, and it changed my entire decade of reading because once I read that, I just wanted to know more and more. And that would lead to Jefferson and Washington and Madison and the Revolutionary War in general. And then I got very interested in presidential histories. But most of my reading was about the Revolutionary War period and, and the beginning of the United States as we know it. So that was my 30s. And then my 40s, I started reading contemporary fiction, still read the classics. My 40s, well, I'm 49 now, almost 50, and now I like to read much more diversely. I am no longer what I would call a sensitive reader. I mean, of course, things disturb me, but I'm not afraid to read most things. And uh, now I read mystery thrillers and I still read biographies and literary biographies and uh, contemporary fiction uh, so and classics. So I feel at this point in my life, the 40s was really transformative, especially this latter 45 to current. Uh, I really have become a much more balanced reader and I want it all. I don't want, I don't want to just be in one lane when it comes to reading because I get so much gratification from reading across the genre. Okay, the second question, how you read? Has the format of your reading changed much? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm i all on board with whatever the latest is. As you know, I love audiobooks. I always have audiobooks going. I love my Kindle. Uh, I, um, I can't imagine 
uh, reading without the Kindle. I'll have the physical book and I'll still read a Kindle version of it. One, just because my eyes um, in low light, like I need, I need a lot of brightness to read a book book. And so the Kindle helps tremendously with that. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of my life is Kindle and audiobooks. Um, I, I love book books though, because I do love annotating. It, it keeps me very engaged. And with the Kindle, I do highlight things, but it's just not the same. I think, I think most of us would agree. Let me know in the comments. Number three, how much you read. Do you read more? or less than previously? When do you read? Has how often you read changed? Okay, let's break this down. The first one is, do you read more or less than previously? I'm guessing that means pre prior to booktube, do I read more or less? And I definitely read more. Like when I was reading through my 30s and I was reading, you know, one of my nonfiction uh, books about a president, it might have taken me a month to read one presidential biography and I was totally fine with that. Now, I like what would I talk about on my channel if I read one book a month? So I do read more now that I'm on booktube. Um however, lately I haven't been reading as much, which is fine, you know, I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to hit 100 books this year because I hit 100 books in 2020. And 2021. I'm, I don't know, I think I'm in the mid 80s for this year. And that's okay. But it is kind of disappointing, <laughs> even though I made my goal 60. Uh, I don't know, I shouldn't care. I should not care. And if I weren't on booktube, I don't think I would care. I mean, that's still a lot of books. The next part of question three is when do you read? Um, mostly in the evenings. So it's rare <laughs> that I'm going to read during the day other than like while I'm eating lunch. More than reading during the day, I might read early morning. I do wake up early, um, but no, um, I feel like five o'clock on or certainly six o'clock on is legit reading time. Okay, and then the final question, Number four, how has booktube changed you as a reader? Uh, okay, obviously I, I, I said I read more. Um, I'm wondering, do I read more critically? I think I do just in that, in that I'm gonna be discussing the book with you. Um, and when I say critically, I don't mean negatively. <laughs> I mean, uh, am I paying closer to attention to the book's pros and cons? Um, and I, I, I think I am. I don't know. I, I think I've always been a pretty um, engaged reader. But maybe I've upped it a notch. Let's say that. How else? So... Obviously I read more. I maybe have notched up on, um, you know, critically thinking while I'm reading. I think booktube has made, helped me read more diversely. And obviously I watch booktube and usually when I'm watching, I'm like on the treadmill or I'm cleaning the house. So I hate that I don't comment on people's videos more because I am watching you guys. It's just, I'm one, I can't like comment. I'm not that coordinated. I can't comment while I'm on the treadmill. And that's probably where I watch the most of my booktube is while I'm working out and then while I'm cleaning, which obviously, I can't comment there and I always think, oh, I'll go back and make a comment because I love getting comments. Uh, it, it just feels like I'm not talking to, to emptiness when I hear from you guys and I wanna do that for other people and I, I need to do that better in 2023, but I digress. So those, uh, the last one is tag some people. I tag any of you, any of you who are watching and you want to do this, let me know your answers. If you're not a booktuber, feel free to share your answers below. I would love to hear from you. You know that as always. Hopefully I will have read something or finished something, I should say. I am reading uh, a couple of things. I am currently listening to uh, 
The Cruelest Month by Louise Penny. So it's the third in the Inspector Gamache series. And by the way, I am watching the Amazon Prime series. I'm not as connected as those of you who have read all 18 <laughs> of her, her Gamache uh, Three Pines series books. So the TV show is not bugging me at all. And my husband actually is enjoying it. So uh, I always, it's a huge uh, win if we are enjoying the same thing. And so that has been good. And I am also... Reading, reading, the Sylvia Plath book, remember how I brought both uh, the Plath biography and the Shirley Jackson biography with me here to Tennessee? The Plath biography has won out and I've been reading that, although not tons, because we had the kids and grandkids here for a few days uh, to celebrate uh, Christmas on the mountain and uh, I didn't get any reading done during that. So that's, that's okay. Um, I'll be heading back to Cincinnati soon. Probably the next time you see me, I'll be in Cincinnati. And yeah, I'll, I'll end the video here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.